Hey guys, this is Seth from the Mass Store Knife Shop, and today we're here with the uh, with the Primitive Woodsman, the Hellbender. I don't know if y'all are familiar with the Primitive Woodsman. Uh, he's based out of Zionville, North Carolina, which is about like 15 minutes from Valacruces, where the knife shop is. Um, got a really cool box. I love his logo. Um, aside from the knife itself, as you can see the size of it, you've got a uh, got cool stickers. You got their own uh, proprietary wax, like for the handle, the blade, the sheath. Um, you could put that on every inch of that knife. Um, that it's important also for this particular steel because it's extremely high carbon. So you got to really take care of it and keep the sheath moist, the handle uh, moist as well. You got your specs on it, which we'll also see uh, called the Hellbender. This is an 80 CRV2 steel, uh, 10 inch blade, 16 inches overall. Um, so we'll talk about that 80 CRV2 steel here in a minute. But first, we're going to check out this beast of a knife. All right, so you have your own, or he makes his own sheaths. Um, you can mount it horizontal on your belt. You can put your own straps on it. You can mount it in several different ways. And you notice all the, the divots in that in the sheath. He actually does that himself uh, using deer antlers in a kind of a special process. So it's pretty cool. You got to check out his website sometime. See how he makes that. Now let's check out the beast. You can see why it's called the Hellbender. Let me show you. the. He's got the uh, fuller right there with his name, Primitive Woodsman. You can see the overall length. We talked about 10 inch blade. Um, the whole thing I think was about what 16. Um, let's see. Now we talked about the ADCR V2 steel. Um, I'll show you on our steel chart here actually. If you're familiar with Winkler knives, it's the same exact steel they use. If you look right here, it's the last one on our chart. First we're going to talk about edge retention. <clears throat> it's pretty average, but that way it's easy to sharpen on the field. It's not so hard. You can't sharpen it fast. But if you look at the toughness, it ranks extremely high in toughness, which is not going to break or chip easily. You would have to, like, chop an armored car in half. And stainless properties doesn't really exist, so you got to really take care of it, which is why he gives you that wax to keep the blade coated and clean. Now, this would make an excellent chopper. Um, you could baton with it. It's... It's a little big for, you know, like hunting or uh, skinning, but it's more for like camping, hiking. If you're working out in the woodshed, you need to chop something. Um, it's an excellent, excellent, basically chopper in my book. Now, if you know Josh, he has very large hands. So you can see how wide that handle is, how big, but he kind of fits it in his hand. But it actually fits mine pretty well. Um, You've got your hole there for a lanyard if you want to wrap around your hand. Again, as mentioned, you have your fuller, which saves a little bit of weight and adds a little bit of strength and, uh, I think, appeal to the blade. And he does a gun blue finish, which helps, one, protect the uh, steel from rusting, and it adds a nice, uh, you know, black patina with that pretty maple handle and the brass pins. Um, so if you like this, um, make sure you subscribe, um, hit the like button. You can also leave comments in our in the comment section, and also hit the link in our description. You can, you can order this online, or call the knife shop. We'll ship it to you. For uh, they retail for five seventy five. Again, made about twenty minutes from here. One hundred percent local. Um, so thank you all for watching. Thank you.